Welcome to another IoT Knowledge Blast. Thanks for joining me. Let's jump right into it. Let's jump right into it with a big thank you for helping me reach 7,500 subscribers. That's a huge milestone for my channel and hopefully I can continue onward toward that 10,000 subscription mark. Remember subscription or subscribing to a YouTube channel is 100% free. Just hit the subscription button and then you will be kept up with all of my latest videos. All right, what's new with IoT? Let's just look at the uh, things I'm gonna cover today very quickly. Um, of course, we're gonna talk about the brand new Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. It is now available. That's a huge thing. Uh, we're super excited about that. Along with that comes a new processor placemat, a new key request, a new activation guide, and then I'll briefly talk about a few of the older products, XP and Fez 7, that it actually reached end of life this year. Um, a few of them already, Windows 7 coming up, we'll, we'll cover that. Then we'll go into a couple of updates on Windows on ARM, followed by uh, you know, the announcement of Windows Server 2025 and Office 2024. Let's get into it. All right, so Windows IoT Client, what's new? Obviously, the big, big news is Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2024. The wait is over. It is finally launched. It is available. You can now buy licenses for this product. It is based on build 24H2. Reach out to us. We can get you a quote. We can get you the media. And we can get you all the things you need to get started with the actual, you know, the actual production product that is ready for shipment. All right, let's look at the actual roadmap for the IoT Enterprise family of products. So you'll see that all of these LTSC editions are still available from the 2015, 2016, 2019, and 2021 in the Windows 10 family. The LTSC 2021 will be the last version of Windows 10. It is currently the last version of Windows 10 that you can buy, and you can continue doing that all the way till 2032, January of 2032. That product is available. Um, or till the end of 2031. The support is available till January 2032. And then there in green at the bottom is the brand new Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2024 based on build 24H2. Now available and that's going to take you out well into 2034 time period. If we take a look at the non-LTSC or the GAC, General Availability Channel, um, which gets 36 months of support or three years of support per build. The new 24H2 build did launch with that product as well. Um, the difference being you only get three years or 36 months of support versus the 10 years at the LTSC. If you're a customer that is currently or have been currently purchasing this product for the last year, year and a half, um, now is the time to really look at the LTSC and start moving over. It should be a super easy migration over to, to the product. Now, of course, it would mean buying a new license. When you switch from GAC to LTSC, you do have to buy an LTSC license for that. Where the GAC, the single license covers all of these builds. The downside is you're forced every 36 months to that next build. Keep in mind, the gray one there at top is this October, October 8, 2024, build 21H2 will go into support. So you'll have to migrate those appliances to the next build. And that may be a perfect time to switch to the LTSC so that you don't have to worry about the next jumps coming in 2025 and 2026. So remember that Enterprise GAC, three years, LTSC, 10 years. And then if we compare that to the Windows 11 professional family, which is also GAC, the difference, and this is a, a, a point of confusion for a lot of people, the Windows 11 GA, professional GAC version only gets 24 months, two years of support versus the three years that Enterprise gets and then versus 10 years that the LTSC edition gets. So again, if you're on Pro, you should not be on Pro. You should be on the 10 year support of Windows 11 LTSC. Jump down to that. Don't have, worry about having to constantly move between these tiny little build, uh, builds of with 24 month support. Next up, we have a brand new processor placemat and a brand new ePKEA 
or embedded product key entry activation key request form. So obviously when Microsoft releases a new product like this Windows 11 LTSC, they're gonna release a new key request form so that you can request that real key that gets you 50,000 activations. And they're gonna re um, typically release a brand new processor placemat that um, will help you determine which processors qualify for each price point or which license. So the both of these were recently updated and you can obtain those from Arrow, reach out to us, and we can assist you with the key request form and the latest processor placemat. Next, we have a new Windows IoT product activation guide. So the activation guide has been around for many years, but with this release of the 11 LTSC, Microsoft decided to update this guide, help streamline it. It had a lot of uh, various information in it. I think it's been streamlined, removed some stuff that uh, wasn't used very often, and now it's been streamlined and has some fantastic information around how to configure your devices for the proper method of activation. And uh, some people might question, well, what do you mean by that? Don't you just put the key in and activate it? Well, in the IoT space, you get a single key, and in many cases, you might be building a device that doesn't have access to the internet. And that's okay in our channel. Uh, the, the product can actually run in deferred activation mode. However, there's some tricky steps you have to do, in other words, to uh, make sure that if you're building offline devices that your gold image remains offline as well. Once a gold image is activated, if it gets deployed to additional devices, well, then all of those devices have to be activated. The products support both deferred activation as well as telephone activation. So it can run completely offline, but if the image was previously activated, gets deployed to a new machine, well, it's now gonna have to be activated. If you don't have internet, that means you're gonna do telephone. It, the guide basically covers all of the details around those different features and how the best practice is that, to help you through that process. We've covered the brand new Windows 11. Let's talk about some of the older products for a minute because a few of them went end of life this year and one big one is coming up. And if you're a customer that is going to be you know, dealing with this, you're gonna to wanna to know what your options are. So let's quickly cover XP and four embedded systems, Windows 7 Pro and Ultimate, because they are going end of life. So if you look at this roadmap, next to the blue arrow there, the top blue lines are your XP WES 2009 and Pause Ready 2009. And after 15 long years of life, they both went end of life this past January and February 2024. And now the top yellow one there, uh, Windows 7 four embedded systems, FEZ, that Fez 7 product is going to reach end of life on September 30th, 2024. And as you can see, all of those products don't have support. Every single product on this entire roadmap does not have support, which means no security patches or hot fixes. But many of them still have life remaining because these products had 10 year support, but 15 years of life. So your Fez 7 is Fez 7 Pro and Fez 7 Ultimate, and it's gonna go end of life here in September. Do not do a last time buy. You're not allowed to do last time buys in the IoT embedded channel. Um, do not stock up on it because you're not allowed to ship a COA sticker for that product past that end of life date. Get with us here. I should have another video on this subject that'll be just focused in on what your options are. But if you're still shipping systems with 7 Pro or 7 Ultimate and you wanna keep doing that, I have options to help you. Next up, we have the latest news and what's new with Windows IoT on ARM products. We did have a couple of interesting items to take, to take place. Let's take a look at that. So there were some updates to the processor placemat around the ARM processor, and they include that Qualcomm had two models, the QCS6490 and the QCS5430. Those were added to the entry price point before that, the, all the Qualcomm Snapdragon processors were at the value price point. And uh, that's, that's fairly expensive for an ARM device. So a couple of new processor releases from Qualcomm and that Microsoft pushed them down a level to the entry, which will save money on the Microsoft licensing, which is a good thing. And then NXP IMX93 was added to the base, which is the least expensive price option. So you have the IMX8 family, and now the new IMX93 was added to the base family. So 
And that, so that's definitely going to help Qualcomm with better pricing when it comes to Windows on ARM. What's up with Windows Server IoT? So this one, we don't have... Uh, let me see if I can move myself out a little bit. There we go. This one is um, is brand new. So we, we, have, we don't have a lot of information here. But we do have what I've kind of put over here next to me here, which is... The, and this is officially directly from Microsoft, which is that, you know, Windows Server 2025 is the official name of the next release of server. We don't have a date. We do have the year 2025. Don't know if that means it comes out at the end of 2024 or if it does, doesn't come out until 2025. But the preview version, the test versions are out. People are starting to test with it. And it's, it's, it's a big product that's obviously these server releases that come every three years and this will be the latest one server 2025 so get ready for that you can see from the roadmap don't have the date yet but it'll fit in there and uh, we will hit you with a video as soon as we have additional information on it and that brings us to office iot products with the office 2024 ltsc also a brand new product that I don't have a lot of info on yet, but it is coming and it is called Office LTSC 2024. And I do expect that release to be in the year 2024. So hopefully whenever that comes out, it is in preview version right now. People are previewing and testing it and trying it out, but it should be available here coming soon. That wraps up another Knowledge Blast for May 2024. Thank you guys for watching the channel.